Yeah. It's soft bun. and it's, it's tasty. It tastes like butter. That's the realest shit. Yeah. The What's what up, bro? Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, oh, this is sick. Oh, this is This is This is Let's get in studio right now. Gang, gang. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. Let's see if one goes with your uh, goes with that outfit you got on, bro. That uh, hell yeah. That polo. Bro. That business look, <laughs> man. I gotta go to do some business today. He got it tucked in and everything. Are we? Are we? Are we shooting this? Y'all don't have any yeah. style, man. That's the problem with you guys. Damn, dog, you look like an extra. Off, <laughs> you look like an extra off Narcos. <laughs> what are you talking about? You look like the the Gringo pilot, <laughs> dude. You look like John Gailey. <laughs> Who is you, look, you look like John Daly if he had Corona. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, you look sick, bro. Oh, I love this look, dog. <laughs> this shit is fire, dog. You didn't get a perm. Right. You didn't get a perm today, son. Your shit's like what? You what? Shampoo? Huh? Head and shoulders or no, what, dog? I did shampoo. Yeah. Hell yeah. Getting, head uh, and boulders, dog. I'm that shit's fire. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you guys? Does it look different, Nick? <laughs> 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 This, this, that shit looks there. You know, liar, dude. Yeah. Y'all are yeek, yeek. You, you either ju just dropped off the kids or just drop, drop off about seven kilos of cocaine, son. <laughs> Pablo Escobar, son. I'm going to go with the kilos on that yeah, one. Yeah, dog. Kilo. Pablo Escobar, <laughs> dog. You look fire today, dude. You fired me up dressing like it that, It feels dude. like you're making fun of me, dude. No, not at all. All right. Mm -mm. You guys, it's all, apparently guys don't do a lot of business, I guess, probably. <laughs> You doing business on the golf course? What you doing, Doug? I got some business meetings. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right, doggy. So guys, fires me up when he dressed like this. Don't talk to me. I'm on a business call. <laughs> <laughs> Shut Shut up the tiger. Be quiet. So be quiet. It's business. <laughs> dude, I busted out the. What you know about the slip and slide? Oh, I saw that, dude. I saw your Instagram, dude. That kid halfway slid. Oh, halfway <laughs> sliding. But my girl set it up with her Mexican friends. The Mexicans don't know how to slip and slide. Really? They didn't give them enough room to run. They didn't put any soap on it. Well, they I got limited there... legs, bro. Mex a lot of Mexican people have limited length and leg yeah, length. Yeah, you're right. You're right. They're 80% so up top. I backed top. that bitch up. I backed it up, put some soap. I said, hit that bitch now. Really? Uh. <laughs> Yeah, you got to put that soap oh, on there. Oh, yeah, dude. Them little bastards were fine. Oh, you got to put that soap, man. i throw anything in there. Lysol. If we didn't have soap, we'd spray that bitch with Lysol. Anything. We'll put some Lysol. grease down, some hot grease. Grease Lysol right here. Healthy. Oh, it's not bad if you close your eyes when you do it. <laughs> See this kid They don't right make there. them bitches like they used to. When I was a kid, we used to have the metal plates on the side through the forks. It was really? dangerous. Ooh, I think it's Forks. dangerous. Tiger was like, what is this, dude? <laughs> damn. He didn't even get far, dude. No, he's like, damn. But <laughs> he he you know what? Marks. You know what? He finished through, though. Look at him finish through it. He's like, oh, hell no. What did you run through it at the end? Hell yeah. Oh, there right on. We finished. There you we go. We finished through, dog. Yeah. The Mexicans didn't know how to set that thing up, though. Well, yeah, a lot of Mexican are, Mexicans are 80% torso, too, dog. 80% <laughs> <of> torso. <laughs> they are, bro. He has a point. No you know, offense, the best Mexican bro. Olympic swimmer, go. Doesn't exist. Yep. That was a trick question. Yep. I like, that you, I like, that, you, I like that you gave it some thought, though. I, I tried. Probably Hector Agua. Hector Agua. <laughs> Hector Agua. <laughs> I bet, dude. You think Hector Agua ain't a freaking good swimmer? <laughs> Hector Agua? You're an idiot. Hector dog. Agua? You know, Dude, you're I just good. forgot you were an idiot, and then I remembered, bro. <laughs> and then you, and then you are, yeah. Yeah, bro, Hector Agua, dog? Dog, I'll be in the deep end. Dude, what did you do to your hair, though? That shit is fire, son. Really? It's a little distracting today. I was supposed to go get it cut today. I cut it a little bit myself, but uh, the scissors I have aren't that sharp. I wonder what that shit looked like blowing in the wind, bro. It's just... You got that, man. Yeah, we look like Captain <laughs> Cock. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Forget Damn, I was even going to go Captain Planet, but that shit is too fire for Planet, dude. Our planet's on fire right now. <laughs> I look Captain. like Captain Planet Fitness, dude. That's what I look like right now. <laughs> 
So dude, it's just gonna pop out of the dressing room <laughs> of a shitty uh Damn, that's the first thing that pops up uh, gymnasium. Look like you're only working on them glutes. Hey, do you need a spot? Uh, I'll hold your ass while you do curls. <laughs> Look at that, man. That's crazy, man. Oh, shit. That's plant fitness that right shit. there. Who did that? And there's Cat uh-huh. in the corner. Yep, that's yeah, me in the back. Cat. That's <laughs> Athletic Greens, man. That's too much Athletic Greens right there. He is fire, though, man. Oh, You're rocking that Captain Planet. If you start watching Captain Planet Fitness. Dude, Anytime Fitness is gangster, bro. <laughs> By gangster, you mean fucking ratchet, dude. People, 2 a.m. in there, bro. I saw a guy come in one time, 2 a.m. stole a motor out of a freaking treadmill and fucking left with it. Dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. What do you expect when the membership is... Eighteen dollars a month, bro. <laughs> I don't even think it's that much. I think it's. It, I think it's, cheaper, no, it's like it's nine or ten dollars. Four dollars a month. Yeah. Well I went to one in New York at two in the morning, dude. The warlocks that are in there at two in the, <laughs> the morning, bro. <laughs> dude, everybody on meth, and all the treadmills are taken. Oh, bro, they had yeah. When I was there one time, it was uh, they had a guy came through selling flowers to people and shit. <laughs> it's, it's chaos. There's no front desk. You just walk in. You can steal protein powder. It's just like with those trust trees, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. It. I mean, it's all. It's really yeah. It was real questionable in there. My hip fitness, dude. Oh, very. I wonder if they're gonna they're gonna make this whole lockdown corona thing i don't see them sticking around i don't know man it's basically it's every person for themselves i feel like chin does the, does the asian community do you guys go to planet fitness or what do you <laughs> Not, more, more 24 hour fitness 24 hour fitness yeah. 24 hour. Yeah, everyone's at 24 hour fitness and why is that i don't know maybe because they're is supposed to be open in the title that was an easy joke <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed that's to be like open 24 hours 15 that's 15 years, why yeah. But they're not like really a good open deal. 24 hours, are No, they? that's what sucks. They're no. not all open 24 Some hours. Some of them, not all of them. Yeah. When no. I first got here, I used to go to 24 Hour Fitness, and it was, I went to the one in Irvine, and it was, oh, I yeah. felt like Kurt Russell. Irvine. Big trouble in little time. Yeah. <laughs> that's an oh. hour drive, dude. Well, I used to live there. Oh, I yeah. see. When oh, I first shit. moved here, I lived in Irvine. I heard yeah. some of them aren't open 24 hours because there was a lot of extracurricular t- activity mm. between the men late at night. Oh, bro, you're talking room. about that steam room hitter? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a cum dun. <laughs> what is it? Oh, dude, I hate to gross you out. Yeah, we. I worked at Equinox and they like when so we much for this horror. episode of getting getting demonetized. Yeah, I mean, no, cum dungeon will get us demonetized. <laughs> you think? It's, yeah, it's well, been like six minutes though. It's been like yeah, you just got to get out the, the the first five minutes. Yeah, you might be right. It's kind of like when you go to Cinnabon, you get extra icing. That's what the steam rooms are like. It's always extra icing. <laughs> Is it? You feel me? Oh, heavy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that um, won't get us demonetized. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Cinnabon. They follow me on Twitter for some reason. That's when you know you're fat. That's when you know you're fat. I saw them dropping comments like, hey, this is a bad look. Good luck with your thick boy bikes. I'm like, hey, I don't oh need God. this sponsor, dude. <laughs> you're the reason it started. Yeah. <laughs> Brennan is like, Brennan, look, Brennan goes undercover. He tries to get pretend he's at work, works at a center. He's like, I'm here uh, to fix the uh, cinnamon maker. <laughs> I'm here to check your levels on your cinnamon. <laughs> Uh, what? What? Yeah, I heard we had a. Uh, heard you guys are low on pecans. <laughs> <laughs> pecans? We don't even have pecans, sir. Oh, uh, let me check and make sure. <laughs> what do you do now? <laughs> you know what? Let me bring my partner in here. Captain Planet Fitness. Go <laughs> there you go. Yeah, dude. Crazy weekend, man. Dude, I'm headed to fuck. I'm headed to Phoenix. Are bro, you really? Thursday. For what? They up the capacity 300 per show. Nuh-uh. The bitch is sold out. This is me flexing my tits. Phoenix, Arizona? Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> Dang, 180 man. degrees every day out there. Yep. It's your old hood, isn't it? It is my old hood. Chappelle, come. you think I'd go to Phoenix and not bring this great Chappelle? Yeah. He's going to? Hell yeah, he's mm-hmm. going. Damn, I'm going to get bro. darker. Why? You going to get a dark? You going to get a <laughs> yeah. tan? Hell yeah, I'm going to get a tan. Dude, somebody was saying with all like, uh, you know, the protesting and all the, pl- with, uh, Police, a black friend of mine said they're going to start painting white people black and calling the cops on them. Damn. <laughs> we don't need that. <laughs> I mean, that's next level, I feel like, you know? Like, damn, bro. Let me know when that goes down. <laughs> <laughs> if you want me to lock down, that'll do it. I said, bro, that ain't going to use chocolate. <laughs> I said, I don't know if that's the way to do it, They dude. might just leave me, though. <laughs> <laughs> He's already a little bit of caramel. <laughs> Wow. Oh, man. yeah. One dude just dressed up. Did he get beat up? They arrested him for it. 
That's not that's not even blackface. That's charcoal face. Jeez. Like that's. But hold on, there's some people like that color. have a that have a uh, pigment issue where their skin is burnt. It has like a charred look to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that's not him, bad. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Your first kind of. <laughs> Inclination but I like, I like, there. I like where yeah. you're going. You I like that you're getting the benefit you know, of the doubt, but yeah. It's called vitiligo, though. Vitiligo. Oh, they got that vitiligo oh, yeah. model. She is all... Oh, I have that. Back. You do? What? Yeah, you I have, have vitiligo on my back. Oh, really? Wow. Mm-hmm. You have, you're like spotted like a Jersey cow on your back? Yeah, right? you can really see it when I get drunk because the rest of my body will turn red. And then just the vitiligo part is pale. In your oh, back? like a lava lamp almost. Like kind of like kind a of, red yeah. lava lamp. Wait, she's the model? Yeah, she's so bad. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, she got that look. That's how I look if I sneak in to get a little bit of ice cream, bro. <laughs> That's how I look after I fucking fix those Cinnabon machines. <laughs> the guy's like, oh, why are you fixing it with you your face? Why have caramel on your face? <laughs> face? The guy's like, oh, you have caramel on the back of your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I missed a little. <laughs> Dude, you have caramel all over your ankles. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know, Rogan has that too. Rogan oh, has yeah. it all over his hands. You can't tell because he's sleeved up. He has it all over his hands. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Vitiligo. It sounds cool. It does sound cool. Yeah, she looks that. super hot, but it can look rough on some people. You think? Mm. <laughs> mm. I mean, it makes you different, I guess. That spotting? You look spotted? The spotted cow? You look like a Jersey cow. If you had some of it, it would really stand out. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. You know? If you went white arm or something, <laughs> white arm, white arms would be sick. I used to go Asian well, arms sometimes if I had to take a test at school. <laughs> <laughs> I would Asian my arm up a little before I go in there. Did it help? Huh? Yeah, did, yeah. did it help? Uh, I would still cheat it off of people, so <laughs> it didn't matter. But Asian was like, arms, white brain. <laughs> <laughs> the teacher's like, man, this Asian kid cheats a lot. <laughs> This Asian kid's looking at other kids' papers, man. <laughs> Wait, did you go to college? You went to college. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. I was in there, bro. <laughs> he said I in was there. in there. <laughs> oh, I spent a good bit of time going into college, dude. Going home, going to college, <laughs> going home. <laughs> Class. College, college sports are back, though, dog. Are they really? Football, the, all the football players are on campus as we speak. We're going to get college football and NFL this season. <sighs> Notice how NFL hasn't said shit about less people in stadiums or anything. What's Praise that say? God. They they went, they went, colleges. To LSU? Damn, they listen to a Loyola. bunch of college, bro. Pick a fucking school, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Damn, just because you walked across campus doesn't mean you went to college. <laughs> he was just performing for NACA. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I hit some, man. We did a little bit of work out there, bro. Somebody's got to do it, dude. <laughs> this coming from a guy who's not familiar with college, really. <laughs> Played football, dude. I did major in football. What class did you do? What, what class? You, did you mean, what did I major in, Theo? Yeah. <laughs> Business and sociology, double major. Oh, What's oh, up, shit. dog? Mm-hmm. Yeah, double you major. You graduated? Sociology? Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, dog, it's called degree. Where's yours at? Huh? Under my arms, dog. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Under your Asian arms? <laughs> <laughs> that one doesn't sweat, actually. <laughs> Dude, I got a degree, man. I believe you, man. I'm not questioning your degree. I frame, I got a frame degree. <laughs> So you Remember all celebrities were like, yeah, I got my degree from uh, Harvard online. Remember mm-hmm. Nicki Minaj was like, I got a Harvard degree. Really? All the celebs are doing that shit. Oh, yeah. Were they real take, degrees? Well, you can take classes from Harvard online. Mm-hmm. You just have like an Asian kid take it for you. <laughs> the guy from Migos just got his high school diploma. Really? Wanted to, yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Congratulations, that's man. A, that's a big what the, deal. What is that guy's name? Snow Cone or something? What's the different guy? Migos' his name? His name's Quavo. Quavo. Yeah. That's a really big deal. <laughs> You're an asshole. High school's so easy. <laughs> you just gotta show up. <laughs> Bro, I barely passed. Bro, and if you don't want to show up, they <laughs> send. He's so happy. Dang, <laughs> Come on, bro. He got oh, yeah. a senior photo. Good you better start tripping. He released a song to celebrate. No, it's just. <laughs> oh, he released a song? Oh, yeah. shit. Damn. Dude, can you? Yeah, that shit's dope, man. That's just... He got that, baby. They can't that's stop the him thing. now. Don't, don't give up, man. Yeah, you, you, high school diploma, mm. sky's the limit. Sky. <laughs> Honestly. That's crazy, bro. Damn, dude, that's fire. I wonder what he had to do to get it, man. Huh? <laughs> what do I had to do? Go to school? What do yeah. you think, Brendan? Finish, no, bro. he wasn't going to school. You don't think? No. Like, you, like you can't they... go to a high school when you're 29, man. No, you can't. Uh-uh. Especially when you're famous. <laughs> 
Yeah. Or when you're 29, dude, it's illegal. Because what if you start dating somebody at school, man? They're going to be young, probably. Yeah, good chance. Unless you and your girl both go back. Oh, his, his girl, girl is Cardi smart. B no, well. his girl is smart as fuck. Cardi she B? went to USC with me. Oh, really? Saweetie. Uh, Saweetie? 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 Yes. So we? What does she do? Uh, she is. Uh, she was a journalist major, I think. She's a rapper too. Oh. She's you, bad. She Filipino is? and black. You can't take a freaking. You can't bring a girl back to high school with you. Also, that's crazy. Yeah, it is. You can't be like I'm going back to high school. My girl's coming back to high school. Billy Madison did it. I've never seen Billy Madison. Saweetie. You've never seen Billy Madison, uh -uh. but you brought up that bullshit mm. Angus movie. Whoa, bullshit. First of all, <laughs> no. Oh, my break. God. She is delicious. She got her high, high school degree, too? No, she graduated from USC. Oh. <laughs> Saweetie. That's Quavo's girl. Should I get yeah, tatted? Quavo's girl. Should I get tatted? I mean. She has no tattoos. That's just an edit. Oh. oh. That's fake, Brendan. Good Lord. That's fake, bro. I'd get my high school diploma again for her. See, I'd go back. Now over, you know why I'd go back to Overland High School and go back and mm -hmm. do it again. But if you go back to high school, dude, I don't think you'd do that good at it, though. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think you would either, honestly. You're doing it. Your brain's in other places, man. You couldn't handle all of that. I feel, I, I'd like to assume I do pretty good in high school now. Also, what that principal, Mr. Buckner? I dare to grab my fucking elbow again, dude. <laughs> I dare you, Mr. Buckner. What's up, bro? He would grab all the kids like this. Now, yeah. think about it. He should have been fired. He grabbed his head <laughs> hard like this. Huh? Y'all deserved it. <laughs> What do you think, dude, of your elbow? There's nothing oh, sexual you about that. It you thought it was sexual? Mm, no, I thought it was mean. Oh, wow. <laughs> and well, what'd, you do to, and what'd you do to him? Just started living, dude. I was living. I, I was living. An asshole. Trying, I was trying to better myself. No, he grabbed all of us like that. Oh, really? And we're like, damn, Mr. Buckner. He thought it was real cool. Grab me now, bro. <laughs> Should we do That's some it. SAT questions next week? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Bring sure, man. Yeah. <laughs> you sure you want that, Theo? <laughs> Me? Yeah. I'd be fine, brother. Because the first time, it seemed like a little bit of a struggle for you. Really? What'd you get in your SATs? Huh? Tiramisu, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got on them. Cheeses. What's dessert, up? You know, you know naming cheeses isn't on there, and I love that, bro. <laughs> bro, you said red cheddar, okay? <laughs> Sweet <laughs> red cheddar, okay, motherfucker. <laughs> Which still ain't. A That's a type of cheddar cheese. Yeah, Sweet yeah, redder, bro. baby. Sweet redder. Y'all ain't shit, bro. Ain't Come shit. at me. You Come want, at me, dude. You need knowledge, bro. Who I got, got the highest knowledge, SATs bro. in here? Did you, Kat? I didn't even take my SATs. You took ACTs? What? Nope, I didn't take it. I went to community college after high school and then transferred into USC without it. Usually kids go to community college because they're a little bit of fuck ups in high school. It's yeah, like low the key. middle ground. You went to community college, yeah? I'm a community college, y'all. Yep. yep, community college. Respect, Respect bro. Oh, oh, weird. Did you cheer yeah. at community college? I did. Oh, my Ooh. God, yeah. bro. That's, That's really dedication, good. That bro. is sad, I think, dude. <laughs> what, oh, <laughs> no offense, did you guys bro. have to pay for your uniforms and shit? No, dude. I Like, I got a, a full-ride scholarship for cheer. Damn. Wait, did, for cheering at community college? Yeah. Because it's big. The college I was, was badass. Here's right? the thing about community colleges. Like, there's some football programs, cheerleading programs, mm -hmm. especially wrestling programs, where they're, a lot of them are better than division Yeah. Ones. Oh, Just no one gives a fuck. Yeah, I went to Trinity Valley Community College. It's in like Athens, Texas, in a small town, and uh, they're really good about like uh, helping out with like uh, athletes and shit. So we get all there's a bunch like you know John Jones was a community college uh, champion wrestling wrestler. He was uh, Kamara Usman, not cheerleader. <laughs> no, no. It'd be cool if he was. Yeah, there's a John bunch. Jones would be the biggest cheerleader ever though. Is junior college and community college same thing? Yeah, right. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Community college is more like a group of people in the area. That kind of <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> yeah, community is more what like. That's I went to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, 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 like hey, if you went to Metro in Denver, you were a real fuck up. <laughs> my, dad, my, my dad was a professor. There. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's also where we met my stepmom. She was a student. <laughs> Dang, really? Oh, Metro, though. I mean, but those community, whoops, those community colleges, <laughs> you can, like, there's like adults there. Adults take community college classes. Adults yeah. for yeah. what? Just adults who are like missed out on life. They go back to try and find their way. Community college usually is something they do at the high school at night, I feel like. That's what I feel like community college is. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was shocked there was a cheerleading team there because I'm like, if these people were just coming over at night to do learning, <laughs> why are they <laughs> then? <laughs> yeah, are they practicing cheerleading at what, 2 a.m. or something? It just seemed insane to me. So I'm sorry about that, man. I didn't mean to. No, you good. I get, no, I get, I get how you got confused. It's all good. Nick, but you're, you're awfully quiet. Did you go to college? I did. I went to University of Minnesota. I didn't finish, though. I dropped out to play poker because I'm an idiot. But I got a 31 on my ACT. Poker. You, you played really? Yeah. 
to yeah. gamble? Yeah, I, I made like, I was living with college roommates. I made like $40,000 in nine months online. Uh, but like I was just smoking a bunch of weed and not going to class, and I dropped out. I, I don't know if I'd brag like in the I'm not one on ACT. No, that's, that's pretty really good. Thirty one no, is good. Thirty one's really good. Any thirty or higher is really good. Yeah, Brendan doesn't know what's good. Yeah. Thirty six. Well, I, I got thirty two. No, you did. I swear on my life, I had thirty two on I'm, ACT. I, on ACT. I'm, yeah. I'm impressed, but I yeah. consider that really good. Yeah. Yeah, but, I consider both of them good, mm -hmm. bro. You can't say thirty one. You can't say thirty one is bad and thirty two is. Bad. I think he was being humble. He was saying he. I'm, he I'm did not do saying that I, like yeah, 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 yeah. There's there's some um, big scores out. there. Thirty four will get you into like any place in the yeah. In the really? Country. Oh wow. Yeah. Thirty six is high as you can get, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if they changed because they added like a writing portion and stuff now, but. How long yeah. is the test? Uh, I don't know, three, four hours or something. Three, four hours? Mm -hmm. yeah. Damn, I couldn't do it. <laughs> and then did you take the SAT too? No. Just, SAT, just, SAT just was big in Denver. SAT was bigger than the ACT. Because if you want to go to California school, you need the SATs. From yeah, West Coast does SATs, East Coast does ACT. We didn't have it, SATs, I don't think. Really? We had ACTs and we had... And the SATs out of 1,600. We had hmm. leap, leap test. Hmm. If you want to go to the next grade, you have to take this test. <laughs> 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 y'all don't have that <laughs> but then they're letting any y'all mfers in, in the grades bro they're letting half y'all in the grades can't even read freaking half you guys out here got your arm painted fucking struggling in class bro. Nick, Nick dropped out to be a high school uh, professional gambler for God's sakes <laughs> look at him he's like, what are you thinking dude? I don't know. you can be a gambler anytime get your degree and then fucking play some poker bro you That's tell me saying, man and then, and, then, God. and then one day you just logged in and I'm already dropped out of school and like you signed into the poker sites and the feds seized everything it's called Black Friday in poker circles and mm -hmm. like you just couldn't play anymore so then Whoa, then I got a job at Sports Authority. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. That's super sad. Sports Authority was nice, though. Yeah, also it known was. as Gart, 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 I think Gart Sporting Goods in Denver. They switched to. Mm -hmm. Gart. Yeah. yeah, it started in Eagle, Colorado, actually. Shout out to Good how, far, how far were you in the school? All the way. I have like a literally like a, uh, a little more than a semester. Left. Do you ever, wow. ever oh, want to go back yeah. like Quavo? Uh, <laughs> may, may, maybe one day, but it's definitely not necessary to anything I'm doing now. How'd you uh, get into uh, producing podcasts? I got I was sleeping in my car and I got an internship at the Adam Carolla Show. I literally moved from Minneapolis to LA because I thought podcasts were growing and I wanted to work for it. And I listened to Carolla every day. I listened to you guys. I went to you the first day. I was living in my car. I went to a live show of Fighter and the Kid. Oh. It, it, I know. it was at it was at it was during the day. It was like on a Tuesday at Social Media Week LA in 2015. Yes, in Sa it was in Santa Monica. Yeah, I was oh in the crowd. God. I was Were you in, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that was our first live show. Yeah, and it, I mean, it was a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, because there were like seven people in the crowd. That they didn't, didn't know, know who we were. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful. I was like cussing up there. They're like, "Hey, buddy, no." Uh -uh. And did Brendan does Brendan seem any different now than he did then, Nick? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> see, same goofy, lovable guy. How we, I just uh, we just had Adam Curl on. He's great, yeah. man. I forget all the shit that dude's done. Yeah, what a beast. Oh yeah, man. He's had a he's had a he's mm -hmm. done all kind of. He's a gearhead too. Crank Yankers, uh, Man Show. Man show. Yeah, that boxing movie. All the documentary. He does a ton of documentaries. Yeah. Yeah. If you're a car guy, like his Paul Newman docs are second to none. Uh -huh. He yeah. owns Paul Newman's car. It's a four point two million dollar car. Really? I've seen that car before. It's nice. Damn. Didn't he keep it at his studio? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love Corolla, man. It's a four million dollar car. Four point two mm. mil. That's right. it right there. He's also a professional race car driver. It's kind of well, he, let's he, he says that it, term. He, he says it himself, though. It's really just rich white, white guys that have too much money to spend. Like, they, anybody can go on those races. But, I mean, oh. they're at, like, legit courses and stuff. Was that him driving it? Yeah. Yeah, oh, there it yeah is. he's a pioneer, though, man, especially in... Uh... Yeah, he's on Mount Rushmore for podcasting, for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Damn. And he's smart. He's trying to have, like, a market for Paul Newman's old race cars like there is for Steve McQueen's cars. They sell for, like, $6 million. So, like, he's going to have them all eventually and, like... He's do putting out docs just like the lore of Paul Newman's racing career. And yeah, it's an investment for mm -hmm. sure. Like he'll be able to sell that thing in five years probably for $10 million. Wow. Shit. It's pretty cool. Damn. It's wild, man. You got a new car. Is that your car outside? That's, I, that's a baby mama's car. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's right. That protects the kiddos. Amen, brother. Bitch is bulletproof. All right. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say ship or? Sh ship. 
Oh, I thought you said ship. Dude, you don't even need to see. Just listen, bro. Just listen. Yep. Folks need to adapt to this changing world. You got demands, man. You got businesses. You need to get stuff out there. You ship station, Theo. You don't need to see anything. All you need to know is when you're selling online, get a lot of orders. It can be tough to ship stuff out. That's why King and the Sting, we use ship station. It's the fastest, easiest, most affordable way to manage and ship your orders. Few clicks. Boom. Click it, dog. ShipStation makes it so dang easy. ShipStation helps online sellers of any size get orders out quickly. You don't even need to see. See this. Save money on shipping costs and keep customers happy no matter what you're selling. Amazon, Etsy, your own website. ShipStation brings all your orders into one simple interface, all right? ShipStation works with all the major carriers including USPS, Blind People, FedEx, UPS, Amazon. We got it all, dog. You don't even need to see. That's how easy it is. Look at Theo. Ship and ship and ship, 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 ship happens. And right now, King This Thing listeners can try ShipStation for free. 60 days when you use the offer code KATS. Make sure your business is ready to meet the demands of delivery culture. Get started at ShipStation.com today. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage. Microphone's right here, dog. Microphone, click. All right. Type in KATS. There you go. That's ShipStation.com, then code K-A-T-S, ShipStation.com. Make ship happen. Bro, I can't even, I've been working out so hard, I can't even see. Dude, you, you're working out so hard, your eyes fell out of your body. And I don't want to, I don't want to gross out the, the viewers, so I put these glasses on. I appreciate that, I man. need something green so I can see. Oh, yeah, the man. The doctor went, you need more green in your life. I went, well, I can't even see cabbage. I can't even see spinach right now. Well, we're going to help you see it all, because what I'm talking about is athletic greens. It's the ultimate, sir. It's the ultimate daily all-in-one health drink. And even though you can't see, you're going to love it. It's beautiful. It's got prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes, adaptogens, superfoods, and more. It's that one-stop shop to help your little blind ass. Oh, it sounds nice. Yep, bro. support your nutritional needs across five critical areas of health. Does that man. have 75 vitamins and minerals? It has so many vitamins and minerals, man. I could explain them to you, dude, but who cares, man? You're blind, bro. Yeah, you're right. What I can matters, feel it, though. I can feel it. And that's what matters. Athletic Greens doesn't compromise at all on ingredients or sourcing. Dude, you could never, it'd be very hard for you with your sight disability to be able to go and farm a bunch of cabbage, farm a bunch of greenery, to get a bunch of seaweed out the ocean or dude, do something like dude, that. Dude, if you tell me this is in powder form, which I can feel it out and mm -hmm. then just put a little drop into my cup, mm -hmm. mix it up, take a little sippy sip. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I can see. Oh. I can see. What? I can see. Praise God he's back. Whether you're taking steps toward a healthier lifestyle or you're changing your visual ability completely, Athletic Greens takes the guesswork out of everyday good health. Why not just try it? Just jump on over to athleticgreens.com slash K-A-T-S and claim the special offer today. 20 free travel packs valued at $79 with your first purchase. That's athleticgreens.com slash K-A-T-S. Speaking of tests, I think we have one that you guys would both like because of... Uh, Theo's tweet about In-N-Out. Um, it stirred up a lot of controversy. A lot of people were fighting about I it. I supported this. Uh, we brought it. I didn't support is Theo's Drew Brees tweet. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is, you didn't support this because this is knowledge, bro. Oh, my God. Smell like that one. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> you know I love Fuck it, here, dog. <laughs> Dude, I'm a Saints fan. I didn't even pay attention to it. They're going to edit. You're going to edit me out. That's fine. <laughs> no, man. We'll leave it in, bro. Dude, I'm a Saints fan. I didn't I'm a Saints fan. what he said, bro. He's a fucking legend, dude. Like, that guy has He's done the a best ton. guy in the NFL. That guy's done so much for black community to, for people Agree. To, to rip him open like Agree. that. Just because of a of a stance that he had. And who knows if he even heard the question from that fucking mook standing in but his also, kitchen. But, but also the guy giving him the questions. Like, why are you bringing up the, the, the national anthem again? That's four years ago, bro. Like, well, the he, guy was just baiting him, bro. He can't win either. The guy was just baiting him, man. Yeah, this dude's done so much for New Orleans, bro. I, th that shit made me mad. Well, he ra he's raised $35 million. And also, New Orleans Saints were going to be the San Antonio Saints if it wasn't for Drew Brees. Yeah. So everybody shut your fucking mouth. Is he a quarterback? Yeah. Dude, he went to community <laughs> college cheering. <laughs> Don't hate on him like that. Okay? His race is under attack. They're painting white people black and calling the cops on him right now. <laughs> you never heard of Drew Brees? I don't pay attention to <laughs> Damn. 
I know. Uh, oh. uh, 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 you're not even like a. Okay, you're so like you a foreign know. white guy. Uh, you're uh, like a white guy from Poland. Ocho, <laughs> you're like Ocho a white Cinco. guy from Sweden. Ocho yeah. Cinco. Ocho Cinco. Of course, he knows the uh, bull rider. Yeah. <laughs> Is he a bull rider? He, he did. He rode on a uh, bull for PBR Pro. The, He's yeah. probably one of the most entertaining players, though. Ocho Cinco rode a bull. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Drew Brees or Ocho Cinco. Drew, Drew Brees is probably Ocho Cinco. the best player in the NFL for the past 10 years. I think pound for pound, he's the best he player. He's going MVP every year. Ever. He's only 5'10". Pound for pound, I think Over Peyton Manning? Yes. He, he Well, he retired a while ago. That's whatever. But uh, Drew Brees, as far as like good humans, he'd be number one, I'd assume, ranked by every player. He's the yeah. best person in the NFL. A week so, ago. So when people were coming after him, it didn't make sense. But also look how he switched it. He was like, "Oh, my bad. I, you know, I, I miss misspoke. Oh, I, the word was out of place where I said it's disrespectful. I didn't know. My my teammates educated me. And then Trump's like, "No, you need to stand up for him." And then now he's an ally for the. He's the one of the biggest voices against for Black Lives Matters. You know what I'm saying? So it's like he's an ally, a huge ally. He's always been. But he was always an ally. He also grew up in Texas locker rooms and football teams. You know, like how long has he been playing? Forever. Twenty years. Oh really? With the Saints? He grew up in no, Texas. No, we. Uh, oh, he got San drafted Diego by the Chargers. The drafted by the Chargers. He's forty-one now. Stud. I mean, if he's yeah, if he's let some... me see him throw. <clears throat> oh, it's God. beautiful. I don't. He's, he, he, dude, he's <laughs> he's a first ballot Hall of Famer. He's he's. I mean, if he's racist, he's the be- He's the most. Then it's. It just would be unbelievable. There's there's no one in sports who does more for a city than him. Maybe LeBron for Cleveland, but LeBron's out because of his stance with China. He doesn't get a vote anymore. Yeah, he just could have worded. I mean, he could have worded his interview a little bit better. But yeah, I also got to realize from Drew Brees' standpoint he, that that's how he feels because that's his perspective. Also, from his family serving in right, and that's a, that's a fair wars. perspective for him. Oh, like shit, if he like p- different people are going to have different perspectives. <clears throat> that's what I don't like is that when people you're going to shut somebody down because their perspective is different. That's crazy. That would like be like me saying, "Oh well, if your perspective is different because you're black or because you're Asian or because you're." <laughs> you know, because <laughs> you're who knows, <laughs> or because you're questionable. Yeah, then it, then that doesn't matter at all. You know, yeah, it's very strange. Delia says Mexican. Delia says Mexican. <laughs> yeah, for you. Well, what we does he know? know we dude? don't know what Delia. Is. Yeah, he thinks things are gonna be different. Yeah. They're not. No. <laughs> They're not, dude. They got you. Delia won't leave his house, so he doesn't get a vote. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Delia said tattoos suck, then he gets tattoos, dude. <clears throat> Delia said weightlifting sucks, then he fucking <laughs> starts shooting up. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't him, bro. He gets a membership to Planet Fitness all yeah. of a sudden, you know? And dude, he just said racism sucks, bro. Just wait, give him two or three months, bro. <laughs> See what his tweet's like. He's like, oh, who's that extremely tall Klansman over there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the seven foot tall Klansman? Yeah, dude. Oh god, real he has real skinny legs. Yeah, dude. All we do is see his little ankles at the bottom. Now his legs are getting bigger. His quads you can't do anything about your uh, Who, calves though. Who's that Klansman drinking that coffee through the front of his outfit? Yeah. That Klansman has coffee stains all over the front of his yeah. mask. <laughs> that Klansman. Who's the Klansman Yeezys? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right what do you got nick all right let's get into the episode man so i wanted to do a test i think you guys would appreciate it's a blind burger taste test oh damn <laughs> <laughs> i knew you'd like it uh if, are you are you down to try some burgers oh yeah yeah I'm all veg- right i'm vegetarian but i'll do it <laughs> you're not vegetarian Since when? i know there's always somebody difficult like that though, you know? <laughs> Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, let's get it. And do not cheat, Brendan. I'll try not to. Bro, you look like some cop's fat horse. <laughs> <laughs> some cop's fat horse. <laughs> oh, my oh, my God, bro. You look like... Bro. I can't see. Oh, my see. God, oh, dude. Bro, you look like a... <laughs> dude... You look, you look you, like a fly, <laughs> dude. You look like a fly that waits outside of somebody's butt. Oh. Dude, dude, you look like Weekend at Jerry Sandusky's. Oh. <laughs> hey, you know, I can only picture what you look like. Right? You look, you look like you trade pogs for dick pics. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, right. Tell you what, I'll give you this slammer if I can just get a sneak peek of your dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me hold your dick for a second. Let me hold your dick for this pog over yeah. here. Dude, it's not gay if you hold somebody's dick for a little while. Not if you trade it for pogs, bro. So in front of you, we've got four burger staples. Oh, I smell them, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah. And they're on individual plates. So you're Do not be... peek, Brendan. <laughs> I'm not, dude. You uh, will. You're the kind of guy who would freaking cheat on something like that. <laughs> no, you're going to cheat, dude. Uh, well, yeah, they're they're in a line in front of you, Brendan. And then Theo. No, I'm not. <laughs> you... <laughs> what? So, so, I'll, I'll pass them up. so what's yeah, yeah. the contest? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chappelle will pass them to you. Yeah, but... I'll pass them. Hey, these feel like some nice tits. Quit <laughs> touching them. <laughs> Like Quit touching I know, what are you doing? I'm yeah. feeling them out, bro. Why? They're burgers. You know what they feel like. Yeah. <laughs> You've got four burger staples. I would say just take a bite or two of each one and then kind of rank them for us. They're four different burgers? Yeah, mm-hmm. four burger staples. Uh, in and, and out, of course. What's this, a burger? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. What's a burger? Yeah. Bro, don't pat it because yeah, I there might you go. eat it. There you go. Okay. Oh, that one's nice. All right. We got we got extra for you, Chappelle. Oh, bro. So I what do I do? You. Just bite into you it? You love chin. <laughs> <laughs> Just bite uh, yeah, into yeah, it? Yeah, just bite into it. And then I, I would... I don't think you're going to... She's going to take more than one bite. <laughs> <laughs> That's in and out. We also have uh, paper towels on don't the table. Don't tell me. I know, right? <laughs> I know. Don't, don't tell you, me. You can't see, you fuck. <laughs> yeah, but I can imagine. Do not tell me what they are. That's in and out. Uh, don't tell me. I just said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, think, I think guess at the end what you think they are along with your ranking. Uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Wow. You want to have a nice vanilla shake to wash this yeah. down with? <laughs> yeah, and these are four mainstream uh, yeah. Yeah. Fr- yes, sir. franchises. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's Burger King. Okay, relax. That's Burger King. Don't Bruh, say anything. Shut up. You're not Lyndon, to say shut up. <laughs> I can tell by Shut the, up, dude. I can tell by the, <laughs> wait, is everyone playing or just us? Just you two. <laughs> just you guys. Brendan has all the burgers. <laughs> oh my god. That blew my mind because I thought the first one was this company. God, I can hear Theo's bottom lip from here. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Meet me at 240, dog. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be able to make it anymore <laughs> after the burgers. Yeah, that's true, huh? That's McDonald's. Bro, Jeez. Think, bro, if you don't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you have sauce on your arms, Brendan. <laughs> well, I yep, can't see. Jesus. Well, I can't see, cat. <laughs> don't eat the toothpick either, Brendan. <laughs> There's, you're safe. No toothpick. Oh, my God. <laughs> that one just busted a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I feel like one of those old ladies that's driving, you know? <laughs> I need to know what four uh, franchises. No, see, that's not fair. Well, then it's going to be too well, There's well, so many. First, we'll just rank them, and then we'll tell you what you picked. Well, now I forget. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to go up for more. Oh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I, feel, I feel sick, but... <laughs> Hey, don't eat them all, bro. I know he's going to eat them all. We're not going to. I ain't got no food. Chappelle hasn't eaten in four days. <laughs> yeah, just do- why don't you just starve to death, Chappelle, okay? <laughs> By now. This isn't about you, Chappelle. Because there's people out there that are really starving, and you're giving them, they think, oh, this guy's a clown. <laughs> you know? Oh, hell yeah, bro. Damn, talk about it. Yeah, y'all better stop bullshitting. I tell you what, I could really use a Diet Coke. <laughs> Fat boy with a Diet Coke. <laughs> This one's this, this one's sloppy. Okay. Well, that one's that, mm. that one's dead last. Mm. <laughs> and okay. what are we judging? Uh, which one you like the best? Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm ready. I thought it was which one is McDonald's. <laughs> one, two, three, four. We should have done this with whiskey, but somebody here's a fucking quitter. <laughs> Whiskey's for gay men, bro. Grab a fucking gram, son. All right? And see who's who. How Grab you, an eight how, ball. How about you do both, bro? No. Yeah, because you'd fly off the fucking hinges and murder everybody in here. <laughs> yeah, well, then don't be encouraging it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to live or you want to see Theo drink whiskey? <laughs> huh? All of a sudden we give Theo now whiskey. Of, All of a sudden we give Theo whiskey. And he's trying to suck us off, saying it's not gay. We bought you four. <laughs> we bought you four burgers, and you still won't shut them. <laughs> huh? This is just another throat Christmas we're throwing for you, <laughs> and you can't pipe down for nine minutes. You're not right, supposed to Brendan, eat them, not sniff them, right, Theo? <laughs> mm-hmm. What? Brendan has his order. Uh, so Theo, yeah, if you want to put him in the order. Can I take my glasses off? Uh, yes. 
Woo! Mm-hmm. 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 I'm done. Interesting. Time. <laughs> time. And this is number one for him? Yeah. Oh, we, wow. They we, both had and it's in and I out. I got the rodeo. In and out? Uh, no. Uh, Shake Shack. You both put number one, and you both put in and out uh, four. Oh my God! Wow. So proof. And then number two was Five Guys, and three was McDonald's. Wow. Wow. Your number two has lettuce on it, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's Five Guys, and then McDonald's. So we went Shake Shack. Uh, Shake Shack, Five Guys, McDonald's, In and Out, and you wow. both agree. That's that's wow. that's wild. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> Same Z's. Burger boys, huh? <laughs> them, them patty boys. Damn, you know, yeah, last row. Yeah. That's crazy. Bro, you are so... Th- I know some people are blind. This is way blinder than them, bro. This is... <laughs> <laughs> no offense if anybody's blind, but... Mm. I didn't see shit. Dude, you could be... I don't know mm. what's going on. I could be in the damn birth canal, bro. You don't know where you are, <laughs> man. Birth canal? Wow. Wow. That took oh, a lot man. of effort, Nick. Thank you. Yeah, this is cool, man. I didn't even think about Shake Shack. I didn't either. Thank you, Chen. Wow. Wow. That was fun. (laughs) Um, All right, I'm going to go purge for a little bit. Do you vomit? You you don't do that kind of stuff, Noah. No, I would never. Have you ever done that? I sure have. Have you really? Yeah. For what? Would you have to get trained for something? Eating disorder. Nuh-uh. Yeah. Did you really? A little bit. Wow. You don't strike me like that, like somebody in one of those commercials or something. I know, because they always got them young girls yeah. with the alien heads and the skinny bodies. Yeah. Nah, some people look like this with eating disorders. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to make yourself throw up? Uh-huh. And I'm not hey, talking about some sw- I'm like not talking what? about I'm not talking about swung cocaine at TSA and throwing it up when you get to the gate. <laughs> hey Rob. <laughs> you ready a fucking nice meal and throwing it up there? I don't think I have, man. I almost choked to death a couple times on uh if I mix Gatorade and tuna fish at the same time. That'll do it. I'll choke. Dude, I must My die. esophagus shuts down. That makes sense. I must when I was young I must died at a Taco Bell. In a you almost died what? Being I, a fucking No, I, I was <laughs> young. I was young and I was eating uh, the nacho uh the nacho, you know, the cheese. Just the regular tortilla chips and the cheese and I was I would get that and churros. That was my thing. My dad would take us there and I was like seven. Just fucking It's not your thing, flying th- it was my thing at the time, <laughs> flying through it. But everybody can have that. It's everybody's Yeah, thing. but I would always get that, you know, and they're like, Oh, it's the B Shop special. I was like, All right, I'm seven, <laughs> let's take it easy. Yeah. And they're like, You should start a bike club. I'm like, All right, we'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Millions of dollars later. But anyways, so Yeah, my face turned blue, my dad had to give me the Heimlich. No way. Yeah. What were you dad talking about? Brent? Bren? And my face was all blue. I couldn't speak. I couldn't talk. My face started turning blue. Is that my, dad was like, my dad said, it's about time he shut the fuck up. What? Was it the churro? It was the tortilla chips. He said, oh. yeah, if you I got to rescue enough. my son, he choking on food. My dad started going, hoi, hoi, This guy's going to And then you ended up at community college. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never went to community college, bro. Chappelle did. <laughs> yeah, he did. You never choked on anything? No, I almost drowned one time, and, and a lifeguard at the beach had to save me. No way. Yeah. That's was, embarrassing. It was. Was it a man or woman that saved you? It was like an 18-year-old girl. She gave you mouth-to-mouth? <laughs> yeah. She gave you mouth-to-mouth? She did not, but she would not. And Because and, and, it was my first time swimming in the ocean, and I got caught in a, a riptide, riptide or whatever. Yeah. Mm. And I, I didn't know. Like I, I just thought I was just floating. Standing. And um, literally, she comes over. She's like, you're getting caught in a riptide. But I got to save you. I was like, okay, cool. And so... As she's pulling me back, we're getting closer. I said, "Hey, let, let me finish the rest of the way. You know, there's a lot of people looking. You know, I, let, let, me, let me finish this out. I can I can get the rest of the way." And she was like, "No, I got to take you all the way." Yeah. And she took me all the way oh, to damn. the fucking beach, and she's, everybody was just she's trying to do her job. <laughs> everybody was just staring. Like, and did it feel what? I mean, what was it like? Did it feel? I mean, what was it like? I was boogie boarded, <laughs> right? And, and I thought it, this shit was tight. You know, was and, this like a few weeks ago? How dare you? I, I was like 26. Yeah. yeah. Was, you know. The ocean's hard, man. The ocean's it is hard, real hard. Hard to handle. I mean, it sinks pirate ships. The ocean does all kind of stuff. The ocean has all kind of Sharks. Magic, Took down yeah. the Titanic. Magic in it. Titanic. Yep. Everything. Treasure. Yeah. Huge whales. All <laughs> kind of stuff, bro. All of it, yeah. What do Asian people think of the ocean? You guys fear it as well? Um. Yes, but also... I personally have a family that does very well in the water. My mm. 
uh, dad and his grandpa were fishermen. My dad also swam in the ocean while he lived in a refugee camp. So wow, mm-hmm. yeah. your, your papa knows his way around some water. Huh? Yep, wow. he oh. was born in the water, as you say. I was born in the water. <laughs> you were? That was cool, late. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been right, but I could see it though. I was born with the high C. I uh, I don't burgers, feel great. Huh? Those burgers, huh? Shake Shack. Yeah, I did it. You know, God, that In and Out was a piece of That's shit. So weird. I knew right away that was a piece of shit. Isn't it funny, bro? It's and not, I've been though. saying that y'all You've weren't supporting saying, me. No, I was supportive. You didn't. You weren't supportive. Yeah, I was. You I, and Dalia attacked me for that. I didn't attack. You. I just didn't want Fucking to be. Fucking Dalia's manic and everything. It looks like you no. wear shit he doesn't want to wear yet. <laughs> 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 Oh, I'll put this no, on my man. living man. I just don't want to dude. retweet it because I didn't want to be associated with you. <laughs> Bro, whatever, After the dog. Drew Brees tweet, I was like, whoa! <laughs> yeah, thanks for, whoa! thanks for sticking up for your boy, son. Whoa! I'm surprised your arms don't hurt from carrying Chris's dick around. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm shocked by. Man, that burger contest. You know, I, I, I feel ha- heavy, man. I feel heavy, too, because I hate I, I, Well, I just hate guessing what I'm about to have. You know what? It wasn't fresh. Yeah. You're right. Wasn't fresh. Nobody said hello. No, they sure didn't. But you know what does? Hello Fresh. Oh boy. God, I set you up for that one. America's number one numero uno meal kit. Oh my God. It lets every you, week, bro. Every week it lets you skip those trips to the grocery. It lets you it takes the guesswork out of uh, out of dining and makes home cooking fun, easy, and affordable. It's delicious. It's for everybody, mm-hmm. including low calorie, vegetarian, family friendly. Yep. Every single everybody. week, man. Yep. If you everybody. If, if you're struggling, if you're not struggling. Uh, if you're doing well, suicidal, whatever, HelloFresh is for everyone. Takes just about 30 minutes or even 20 minutes, and bam, you're ready to go. You got a full meal. You can save it to 28% by using HelloFresh versus your grocery store. Don't forget your grocery yeah, store, Yeah, because man. you're not going to use those items. You might go get a uh, thing of uh, bison or something. You might go get a thing of tomatoes, man. You got to wear a mask. Yeah, you get a thing of bacon powder. You get home, you can't make nothing with that. You know nothing. HelloFresh sends you things in a box that says, hey, this is exactly how to make something. Yep. It keeps your fridge stocked by adding proteins and sides like garlic bread to your weekly mm. order. You can do that. Easily change your delivery days. if you're gonna Flexible. Be, you're talking about flexible. Oh, if you're going to be out of town. Yes. It's committed. HelloFresh is committed to making fresh, delicious food. It gives back, man. HelloFresh donates over 2.5 million meals to charity just last year alone, all right? Man. So they're going to keep on keeping on. Mm-hmm. And you guys get, man, you get something delicious. Give them the deal, deal daddy. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 60 K. A-T-S and mm-hmm. use the code 60 cats to get $60 off your first three weeks, including free shipping on your first box. Quit frisking burgers to see if something's good. Just go to HelloFresh.com slash 60KATS. That's right. HelloFresh.com slash 60 cats and use code 60 cats, 60KATS, to get $60 off your first three weeks, including free shipping on your first box. Additional restrictions apply. Please visit HelloFresh.com for more details. It's $60 off your first uh, three weeks. If you haven't tried this, man, try it out. Uh, It's a lot of fun for the whole family or even if you're lonely. Let's get into a question. Here's some guy who looks like he works in the police department, actually, with the windows. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, he does. Or it looks like he's in the back of the car. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, hey, guys. What's up, Brian? And what's up, Theo? James from Wareham, Mass. I got a little name game for you. Professional wrestlers. And I'll start you off with that Texas rattlesnake hitter, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Ooh, my fave. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. He is definitely in the back of a cop car right there. Yeah, he is. Would have been like King and her sting at a uh, breaking out of a. <laughs> <laughs> King her sting handcuffs. They hurt, man. <laughs> Dude, one time a buddy of mine got pulled over. He had a pound of weed on him, right? So we put it in the front of his pants. The cops take him out of his car, put him into uh, the cop car so they can search his car. Yeah. Search his car, don't find anything in it because he has it on him now in the cop car. And then they bring him back and let him go in his own car. Damn. Oh, my God. My boy Billy Conforto. And he died, actually, too. Ate a bunch of pills and and Mm. fucking died. But, um. Oh, God. Rest in peace. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace forever, bro. All right. Let's name some wrestlers, you fuck. Okay. I will start off with, um, I mean, I could easily start with the Rat King myself, but I'm going to go with uh, fake-ass wrestlers, Mystic Rick. 
<laughs> I feel like you've already lost. He doesn't count. Okay, I I'm gonna think, give you another chance, though. I didn't think so either. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with um, the big boss man, brother. I'm gonna go with that macho man, Randy Savage. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna go with that easy peasy Japanese, <laughs> Mister Hulk Hogan. Ooh, <laughs> flat yeah. ass himself. <laughs> yeah, with that fat tie hairdo, yeah. baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with that Jake the Snakey. Ooh. I think you need to get that select trim like your boy right here from Brutus El Barbe. <laughs> Big gig. I'm going to go with what Theo does with his nuts, the bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the bulldog? Oh, the, the fucking bulldog. Bring that up. The British bulldog, yeah. baby. Whoa. <laughs> The British Bulldog is way different than the Bulldog. Oh, he's known as the Bulldog. The Bulldog? Yep. If you're in Britain, I think he just goes by the Bulldog. And I, my <laughs> mom's from England, and I'm half English. Count it. Oh. What else you got? <laughs> Another thing, Brendan's half. Um, I'm going to go with uh, your boy, Dusty Rhodes. Uh, All right. How about you hit you mm -hmm. with the ultimate warrior? Okay. Mm. I'm gonna go with the damn Dusty Rose about to die. <laughs> yeah, I think he Rose is was... dead. He did. Uh, he is dead. I could tell by that picture. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with your boy Hacksaw Yim Yogin. Yeah. Well, they call me this in the sheets. How about the animal? <laughs> the yeah. animal. The animal. Come on, bro. Hawk and animal. Road warriors. Yeah, He's the, right. The animal, oh. dude. I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna support BLM right here and go with Coco Beware. <laughs> oh, I like it. <clears throat> How about I hit you with a little Undertaker? Ooh. Ooh. Look at Coco though, bro. He was smooth. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> with that parrot? Yeah. Oh, shit. That hot ass parrot? Yeah, beautiful parrot. All right, I'm gonna go with. Uh, Flying Ryan Williams. Ooh, I like that. But how about I hit you right in the heart with Brett the Hitman? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you had to pull him out from under the bus you threw him under last week, huh? <laughs> uh, the, the, who did you say? Huh? Flying Brian Williams? It's Flying Brian Pillman. Oh, Bri I win! Oh, Brian, oh. <laughs> Brian Williams is the new that painter. <laughs> I win! <laughs> <laughs> of course, Brian Williams ain't in the WWF. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> See, Theo's problem is he goes too specific. If you go vague, we can just count it. But yeah. if you just had flying Brian, you would have had it. You said Brian Williams, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty specific. I was wondering why you pulled that up. I was, I was like, I know Brian Williams lost his job, but is he in the WWE now? <laughs> he is now. So I was going to let it slide. I don't feel stupid, you know? Bro, no, you weren't letting anything slide, bro. You didn't know. Okay, that's why I Nick won, baby. Yeah, because I've never heard of Brian Williams in WWE. Yeah. But here's a crazy part. Yeah. Nick hadn't been here, and it was just you and I guess. <laughs> we would have kept going. Because yeah. I want to keep going. Yeah. So you guys ain't shit, bro. I would have gave bro. you the Bash Brothers. Dude, I you got, going. Look, I would have gave you The Rock. What's mm, up, baby? I didn't want to pick those I would have gave you CM Punk. Those Bash, Bash Brothers ones. also is not one you do that's that a, a video lot. Game. That's from the, That's from uh, Mighty Ducks. They're the Bushwhackers. <laughs> no, type in Bash Brothers. Look, we also gave this dude the bulldog. The okay. Bash Brothers. They were the dudes that. The yeah, the Bash Brothers. That's Bushwhackers. That's Bushwhackers. Like, like, bring up Bash Brothers. <clears throat> yeah, bring up the Bash Brothers. You'll get a video game. No, they're right there, dude. Who the fuck is There they are. Oh, WWE's man, the Bash Brothers. Oh, no one's ever heard of These guys, guys, though, are the guys. These are the Bushwhackers. Oh, yep. yeah, yeah. Yep, I'm with the you. The Bash Brothers ain't shy. I was going to hit you with that Yokozuna. Wow. I was going to hit you with that Sable. What's up, bro? You don't know shit about Sable. I haven't even heard of these fake ass. I was gonna hit you with. <laughs> I was gonna hit you with Eve Gracie, bro. Ronda Rousey. All right. Mm -mm. China Blazer. China. <laughs> China's one too. China's Rest one. in peace. Yeah. China died. Yeah. Rest yeah. in peace. China died. Sable was the hottest thing this side of the Mississippi. Brock Lesnar. Dog. That's Brock Lesnar's girl. Whoa. Ooh, sell her tickets. <laughs> oh, they're married. Yeah, that's <laughs> they're they're married now. Really? Her, her, and him. Yep. Wow. They've been together for a hot second. What's her name? Sable. 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 How old is Brock? 
Uh, I don't know now. Yeah, she was a wrestler, WWE champion, WWE diva, I should say. Mm. Huh. Well, it's fine. One again. What else? Man, you got? that burgers hit me, slow me down. My brain. Man. <laughs> Shit your pants? No, I don't feel like anything's wrong with my body. I just feel like my brain got slowed out. <laughs> <laughs> you did say burger, Brian Williams man. in WWE. I said flying Brian Williams, dude. What a great name! For who was a fuck? Who was an an announcer? <laughs> Who also wrestled in college, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Can you, look up if, can you look up if he wrestled in college? If he wrestled oh, we in might college. Be back. I'm just telling you. <laughs> Did Brian Williams wrestle in college? He went to Ma- he, damn, he went to Matter Day. Matter. No, he didn't wrestle. Yeah, but hold on. Go back. He said he was a busboy you... at Perkins Pancake House. <laughs> hey, you, re- you know they wrestle after work. <laughs> hey, you know he wrestled some lies in that helicopter when he said he was in the war. Remember that? That's why he got fired. What about this, though? He suffered an accident that left him with a crooked nose. That could have been wrestling. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. My first job was also busboy at Perkins Pancake House, and I, we wrestled that night. <laughs> <laughs> but all gay, bro. <laughs> that ain't wrestling. That's them gay shit, bro. Nah, that's beautiful, man. I think nah, you guys man. are doing it, dude. A couple of men meeting up after work to make sure everybody's doing okay, taking their aprons in. off and wrestling over pie. That <laughs> shit's gay, bro. Huh? <laughs> bro, it's not Especially gay in Wisconsin. Dude. It's only gay if you're gay after you wrestle. That's fair. Yeah. What yeah, else you got? That, I just, that was only half true. We didn't wrestle, but I was busboy at Perkins. <laughs> Shout out, man. Shout out to all the busboys out there. Yeah, I should doing the Lord's work. Yeah. And, if you can't and make waiter. No, and getting no fucking, nobody gives you any credit. And dude. you can't make waiter, dog? It's the worst, bro. <laughs> You're like, what's this idiot doing that I can't do? <laughs> <laughs> the issue is is that you are 16 years old. That's the only issue. And, and your attitude, though, most <laughs> oh, of the time. Yeah. Yeah. But and you, you got a tattoo on your neck. It's <laughs> off of that. <laughs> And you also spend your money on drugs. So there's also that. Shout out Rochester, dude. Both of those things remind me of Rochester, dude. <laughs> Buddy of mine blacked out and then drove home after we partied in the parking lot of a day's in over yeah, there. Yeah, we can't have you as waiter then, Up dude. near Webster. <laughs> That's why I never made it. Praise God. Here's somebody right here with a little fella in the background. Well, that could be What's Brian. Up? Is that Brian Callen in the background there? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Brennan? What's up, Theo? We got a king and a stinging for you. Getting your ass waxed. Ooh, gang, gang. Oh. Let's go! Oh. Oh. <laughs> what the kid do? You gotta do the ring though. You gotta do the a hole if you're gonna do it. Yeah, you know it's the number one thing for guys when they get uh, wax. What they call it balls, balls and butt. Really? Yep. Wow. I wouldn't mind a little bit of it, but I had my girl wax inside of my thigh because I wanted to wax this asshole. But I'm like, let me see how bad it hurts. She just waxed inside of my thigh, bro. It was the worst pain I've ever been in. I don't get how girls do it. What a little bitch, dog. Me, <laughs> dog, I'll even gain five more. Meet me at 245, dog. You can't freaking handle the cut, son. That's all I'm saying. You need to wax that duck tail hanging off your back, bro. Dude, y'all don't know shit. None of you guys have any style in here, okay? Chin has some style. Thank Cat you. looks great. But the rest Thanks. of you fuck boys don't have shit. Cat, you don't have to and wax. you know who I'm talking eight, about, too, eight, dude. You don't have to wax, right? <laughs> I still wax. You still wax? Yeah. Uh, half of y'all ain't shit, bro. Are you still on that bitch? I know, right? <laughs> What's up, bro? He's talking about fashion, bro. He's, still, he's, he's talking ragging about? on our fashion. I'm just, just saying, on dog. fashion, bro. Y'all got shitty hair, bro. I've seen both. You and him have the same fucking haircut. You and Brendan <laughs> and little dark Brendan over there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, oh, I'm sorry the store was all out of the John Daly wig. My bad, bro. This ain't a wig, you freak. <laughs> this is real hair. Prove it. <laughs> Here comes a guy with a decent. Oh, wait. wait I say, look, man. Yeah, I've got my butt, my butt wax, man. You got to do it sometimes, bro. Especially if you used to use steroids and stuff in high school. <laughs> you know? He gets thick back there, bro. It's yeah. messy like Jumanji fucking weed it's very dude. thick yeah, i wouldn't mind it. it right now really yeah go to the place and get it done persian lady will do it yeah that's, oh. a, that's a rough gig they do it they beat they'll fucking call you their husband's name while they do it too <laughs> they're angry yeah, oh, yeah on all, you, have, you've done it before yeah did you get on all fours or did you baby it put your legs huh? up in the air? oh I do no that. you put your legs up in the air like this yeah i look her right in the eyes while she does <laughs> it and then you go, get it girl yeah <laughs> I say, take it. Take that shit. Yeah. Take that shit. I say, take it, daddy. Oh, God. <laughs> take it, daddy. I say, take it, female daddy. <laughs> That's what I say, because I'm a fucking man, Why don't dude. Why say, take it, mama? Look at Chappelle, look scared over there, <laughs> dude. Y'all really have done that? Huh? 
Yeah, if you quit listening to Mashbox 20 and get in the game, bro. Okay. All of y'all, man. Y'all, no, bro. If you think I'm fucking here, break dude. from the lighthouse soundtrack and fucking yeah, get dude. in the game, bro. Bro, if you turn down the bass on that Kenny G a little <laughs> and freaking have a life experience, dog, maybe you'd be all right, bro. If you take the headphones out, quit listening to Brooks and Dunn. You, yeah, fucking yeah, get, you ain't yeah. live to get on all fours and call someone mama where they rip the hair out your asshole, bro. Yeah, dude, if you back off the 24-hour live feed from the Volcom Festival <laughs> and work on if your... If you quit looking for deals on Hot Topic online, yeah. you might live a little, yeah. Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Take it from Brendan, who's dressed like a bouncer at Crystalia's closet. I <laughs> uh, can't let you in, man. Chris only, man. Here's somebody right here who obviously doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> but he has a robe on, which is yeah. sick. This is uh, fashion related, but let's ignore the poor quality on his video. Uh, is this from the 80s? <laughs> hey, what's up, Brendan? What's up, Theo? Brandon from Maryland, gang. Uh, a couple weeks ago on the uh, episode, I heard you guys. Uh, Why is he rocking? Hating on Chappelle a little bit about his uh, that Malibu uh, piece of apparel he had on there. <laughs> okay, so uh, here's my question, debate club for you. That Hawaiian shirt hitter or that flannel? What's the superior piece of clothing? Gang, gang. <laughs> Depends, bro, on the situation, Depends. Daddy. Because you look like a real asshole wearing that fucking tropical hitter, you know? Shut your ass. If you don't wear it right, you look <laughs> weird. Damn. I don't know. I think it looks good. Bro, that's that's, that's that shit looked dope on you, man. That's that dark yeah. rum commercial, remember? Yeah, yeah dark that rum. dark Malibu rum. Yeah, you yeah. got to pull the Malibu rum picture. That shit's hilarious. <laughs> that shit's fire. <laughs> <laughs> that's that fire, dude. I would sell non-alcoholic Malibu room because I don't drink. You know what I'm saying? And half of Malibu was in a fire anyway, so that shit actually really worked. Yeah. Bro. Um. Yeah, there you yeah. go, right there. <laughs> Chappelle <laughs> Lacey Dark Rum. Oof. Damn. Damn. <laughs> How do you not have? And a then your quote you say it make you do a backflip. <laughs> It'll make you do a backflip. <laughs> yeah. Two sips of that Chappelle Lacey Dark Rum. <laughs> Two sips, you'll be doing cartwheels. <laughs> yeah, it'll make you uh, do a triple axel right out of your community college class. <laughs> <laughs> it'll make you flip right into a four-year college. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go to four years, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, those riptides won't stand a chance when you're, when you're, when you're knuckle deep. If I was in wearing that, sh that shirt, I probably would have survived that riptide. <laughs> lazy have you worn it since? You should bring it to Phoenix, dog. Crowd, go, yeah. crowd go crazy. Yeah. There we yeah. go. Malibu man. rum sales go through the roof. Mm -hmm. You know how many people reached out to me and asked where my girlfriend got that shit? Wow. She what'd she say? Staple Center? No, she got. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Do they have clothes there? <laughs> yeah, I got. Apparently, I don't know. There's That's some, not where I got. You shopping at Staples? That's there? that Lakers fucking nighttime hitter, oh, bro. Oh yeah, bro. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's that James Staples Worthy. Center flea market, bro. <laughs> Was your girl pissed or ripping on your shirt? <laughs> No, do you think his girl watches this show? Yeah, I do, man. I hope she does not. Yeah, I hope no, she, she doesn't. Does. Mm -mm. Ooh, 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 wee. So, what's well, your guys' pick? Uh, um, I like I, I like a nice flannel. You do? Yeah, nice. The nice flannel looks pretty yeah. dope with right jeans, right kicks. You look pretty fly. Can never go wrong with flannel. Yeah, that's a lady. Me and Theo. Look at the way Theo's dressed for God's sakes, and look at me. What do you think, Kat? Oh, I love flannels, yeah. especially flannels on a guy. Mm -hmm. Gives me that. Like lumberjack vibe, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a man who could get like that down L and dirty. Jack, they call it that L Jack. That Portland hipster <laughs> vibe. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. You know Nick's gonna pick flannels. I can't see Nick in a Hawaiian <laughs> shirt. Dude. Yeah, yeah but you don't one. drop out of college, become a professional gambler, and wear Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude. Only if you're what successful. What a classic move, dude. <laughs> no, I can't get over it. Bro. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's so, it's so crazy. stupid. <laughs> I fucking love it, dude. And it wasn't even. Re it was gambling online. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Five cabling. 
<laughs> you can't make any money, real money in person. Five yeah. tables at a time, baby. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. It was uh, honest, and that's like when I started really listening to podcasts and shit. So all things happen for a reason. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there I mean, go. look at Dan Bilzerian. You're the same thing. Just he, his daddy <laughs> funded him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and what about you, Chin? How did you end up in the podcast world? Um, it's a boring story, though. Not oh, really. Yeah. It's kind of a dope story. Well, I was doing. I was a producer and a voiceover director for a Spanish dubbed. Korean television show. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so confusing. <laughs> so confusing. And it was a K-pop show. So I've, I actually directed people, voiceover directed people in Spanish. Oh, wow. Yeah. You speak Spanish? A little bit. Oh, shit. That's dope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? And then. What is going on? <laughs> crazy, huh? So somebody that spoke a little bit of Spanish. <laughs> no, I speak a decent amount. directing people. He's directing whole networks. <laughs> It's directing <laughs> Korean people. No, it's they're actually Spanish sp- voiceover. They're actually Spanish speakers, but they're dubbing over Korean television show, okay. K-pop show. Oh my god! Damn. Did they have to speak English also? And you told them you you translated the Korean to English and just told them in English. No, so we had a translator do the entire sheet, and then I would just direct them how to say it. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, yeah. that's just, pretty just cool. Just like to, to voice act. It was just yeah. voice acting. I see. But then I did that, and I, I rented my own studio. So I built the whole studio there, too. Mm-hmm. And I rented that on the weekends, my own, with my own money, and produced podcasts just to learn it. Mm. And then Brennan and finally the kid, Brennan was on Joe Rogan's podcast. Mm-hmm. They are looking for a producer. And so I just randomly thought, I'm going to see him at a show, give him a, a thumb drive with all my information on it, all the shows I did, all that stuff. He took it, reached out later. Boom. What'd you do with the thumb drive? I, I did a set at the Laugh Factory. This is what, five years ago, Chin? Four. Four. Close to four. four. I was doing a set at the Laugh Factory. I got off stage and Chin was like, I'm your next producer. Did I was kind of really scared. Can? I was like, <laughs> 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 or else. Like, oh, or else. Yeah. <laughs> Does he have a samurai sword? What are we going to do here? And next thing, oh, yeah. here he is. But he was a badass. Damn. Thanks, dude. And this has actually haunted me for years. He came in to Corolla because he's friends with Chris Loxamana, who's Adam Corolla's producer. And I worked there at the time, and he came in just like asking questions how they ran stuff, and he left, and I, I, I wanted to apply. I was not qualified at the time to like run a podcast, but I literally, I go to Chris, I go, I hope he doesn't get it. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I, I literally felt, I, 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 I'm like, that was just bad juju. You got to root for people. I feel bad, man. I'm sorry. Meet me at 195. <laughs> That's That's 180, bro. Double, double match. Yeah. That's correct. Tag team match, bro. Bro, that's a dude wishing the darkness on people, man. <laughs> Damn, we've Nick. all been there, brother. I've got, I got it off my chest. All right, Amen, and then look bro. what you have now. You this feel better, amazing. Nick? You feel better? I do, now? I do. You yeah. got it out, dude. I hope he doesn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's harsh. That, though, Chris man. looked at me. He's like, "What the hell's your problem?" <laughs> <laughs> You're like, "Everything's my problem." <laughs> <laughs> Where do I start? <laughs> <laughs> Should we close it out with the king at her sting it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, that burger hit me in the neck, I think. <laughs> really? I didn't know. I thought we were picking which one um, is which company. And then, and so that's what I tasted them all, thinking that. I just wanted to prove if you did or didn't like in and out It had been like, hilarious if we picked in and out number one, but we both picked mm-hmm. it dead last. Isn't that crazy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's wild. Here we go. I got a king at her sting it for you boys. The rat king watching over you on that throne while you're dropping that hitter. Amen, brother. Gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. The rat king watching people think shit. Praise God, bro. Yep. yep. Why not? A little art in there goes a long ways. Yep. I think, yeah, if you can look at some art or something inspiring while something's coming out of your butt, <laughs> then you deserve to be able to do it. Well, sometimes you gotta, you know, you got to push through. Sometimes it's tough to get it out. And if you can look up there and get, Theo probably did this, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I think if you got to, yeah, if you look at a nice art. Doesn't cocaine make you constipated? I don't think so. I cocaine always made me go to the bathroom. Oh, mm. is it the opposite? That's why people go do it in the bathroom because they're in there doing it and then <laughs> doing duties, doing poop. <laughs> oh, oh I, th- I thought it made you super constipated. I don't think so. I think if you do pills for like, uh, like oh, that's right, pills a do. long time, yeah, then you can't go to the toilet. Yeah, that's right. Pills mm. make you constipated. That's the wrong one. But people, I think people <laughs> go to the toilet too much anyway. I probably poop maybe two times a week. <laughs> 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 over your toilet. 
73% say king it good choices 27% had issues with it what else do you want over your bathroom toilet what is it some picture of like a boat yeah usually it's a, a sailboat boat. Yeah. or yeah. seashells you know how hard it is to shit on a sailboat god dude. Yeah, it's extremely hard dude <laughs> oh man who would say sting it Bunch People who have posters that says uh, "Live, Laugh, Love" on them. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, if you're a single dude, you walk in a girl's room and it says "Live, Laugh, Love," you know it's going down. Because <laughs> yeah. you don't have a lot of options. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. Dog. yeah dude. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Well. Well. Well, that's it, man. That's well, it. Yeah, that's I think it, maybe we'll come out with a special artwork for toilets and bathrooms, <laughs> a shower curtain. I think we can come out with some artwork for Captain Planet Fitness. Yeah, Gosh, that's, that's a shirt. Getting yeah. jacked in there. Yeah, mm. we're gonna. Uh, we got new stuff up too. Or uh, we a whole have new s- store, don't yeah, we? Cat shop. K A T S shop. S H O P. Yep. Get you some. Get you some at Cat Shop. Go in there and get you some. Get you something for you. Get you something for the lady too. There it is. Couple item. Yeah, the shirt's my favorite. We got short sleeve, long sleeve, tanks. No hats, sleeve, yep. No <laughs> sleeves. Invisible shirt. Mm-hmm. Hell, for nine dollars, we'll send you nothing at all, man. <laughs> that touch tank, Just baby. Just a box. <laughs> yeah. Send you nothing at all. Nine dollars, you get a box. <laughs> yeah. Who is this gentleman? I don't know. I don't know. He definitely. What kind of vibe do you think he gives off? Gay? <laughs> oh, oh God. God. yeah. Homoerotic? Yeah, a little Homosexual. bit. Homosexual? Because he has that sunburnt neck. The rest of his body doesn't match the color of his neck. Well, he has uh, that farmer's tan, it looks like, if you get on it, on his arms. Yeah, he it? does. Now, he's, he, I think he's a little has a little dash of Asianism in him. Mm. Looks very Filipino. Asianism? Yes. Asianism. He might have Asianism. Asianism. What's the other models look like? Is he our only model? He's the guy. Man, let's get some thick bitches up in there. Whoa. Yeah, There's some why? real big girls on <laughs> men's shirts. Yeah, why don't we have why that? Why don't people do that? <laughs> just big, broad, mm-hmm. just fucking big broads. I think you're onto something. Yeah. Like, yeah. Look at that guy. And look lost. at this guy right here. <laughs> lost. Are you talking about lost? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, man. They're going to ask him what he got in his SAT. <laughs> 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 Not good. This guy? <laughs> oh, there's a mechanic shirt if you do mechanics, bro. Yeah, bro. If you work at Ford, Porsche, whatever you got to do, get a little Nordstrom, oil on that thing. Nordstrom, rack. Yeah. Nordstrom's rack, changing tires. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get a little oil do. on your shirt, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so they got a couple select items on there, man. If you want a choice, you want to look at something or be in a shirt. <laughs> they got that coffee mug, too. Maybe you just don't want to wear anything but a fucking Rep King of the Sting. So you got that mug. Yeah, get you a sip in the morning, something to quench your thirst, bro. Mm-hmm. That little Java. Get your dick out and drink some Java, bro. Yeah, bro. Hold your dick, bro. Hold your cousin's <laughs> dick and have a sip of what? coffee. Yeah, dark roast, dark roast and grab a handful full of nuts. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> that shit's sick, dude. Bro, that's what I'm saying, No, No dude. better way to start the morning. Bro, cut your nuts open, dog, you yeah. know? <laughs> and give one of them to your cousin, dog. <laughs> Cousins. And then both share the mug. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe just get one mug for the family. Yeah, get one mug for the family, bro. Do that 1800 style. Yeah. Y'all sharing a little bit of soup or something. Mm-hmm. Do a can of soup. So, but a lot of items on there. That's catshop.com. K A T S shop.com. And some people think it's your shop, cat. A lot of people spell my name with a K, thinking mm-hmm. that you guys named the show after me. Oh, but really? It's not. Oh. No. Do people, uh, do you mind if people spell cat K A T? No, I mean, I don't really care either way because everyone calls me cat. Oh, who shit, knows I me through work, that. but then, like, nobody else outside of work calls me cat ever. Right. I'm have, not even that fond of it. To have be any oh, you don't like cat? It's not that I'm I don't. Who started, didn't it's not I? that yes, I don't I give everyone like it. nicknames. Yeah, you yeah. do, dude. It's cat. the flat. I like when bro. you call me that because that's the nickname that you gave me. Mm-hmm. I don't really mind the name cat, but everybody calls me teen. Mm. What about kitty? If people say kitty, <laughs> Ooh, I don't like that. No. Huh? It's her. It's for her. I know, but I can tell she doesn't like that. that I really? Feel, I you couldn't like, tell she didn't like cat you can't for wear six that, years. You can't wear that. <laughs> you can't wear that shirt and ask her if she wants to be called kitty. What? <laughs> You've lost that right. Oh, <laughs> hey, 
You want to have a C? <laughs> you lost that right. <laughs> when you come in here with a six pack full of Zima and ask little cat if she, you can call her kitty, this you is lost a, that right. This, you fucking brain orphan. This is a business shirt, boy. <laughs> that ain't no business shirt. Meet me shirt. at 240, son. All right, bro. Bro, I'll, again, bro, I'll beat you with a damn yard shovel, dog. You know what I'm saying? You guys are out of your minds, bro. You don't know this. She doesn't like the name cat for four years, and you're going to say. She likes it when I call her. She barely likes it. She said she likes it. She said she. Your family calls you teen? Yeah. Yeah. Nobody calls me cat outside of work. Yeah. All the fans call you cat. Yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of nice because. The majority call- of the people call you cat, that means. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Have you gone on any uh, dates or met up with anybody that's hit you up uh, through the show? Uh, no, I have not. Probably smart. Wait. No. It's okay if you have. Have you been no, going I'm, on dates, No, I'm Kat? trying to think. Yes. How's it been going? Wow. Um, it's been Ooh. going. I don't Kat? really... I'm just learning that I am one of two people <clears throat> while dating. I'm either super like super forward and very aggressive yeah, or yeah. i'm a little bitch like i will <laughs> not say anything That's it's too. one or the other well it's right it's probably based off the dude the vibe with the guy right yeah i don't know like some guys i'm really aggressive with i'm Ooh, very yeah. forward yeah. and then other guys like i can't i won't even look at you because mm. you don't like them or they're they're just are they super alphas no they just make me nervous i don't know what it is mm. it's mm. one or the other and what kind of ethnicity have these men been White boys. Um, <laughs> mostly white boys are in my DM, so that's all I've really got right now. Yeah. Uh, there was one Asian dude that I really liked, but he was the one I was aggressive with. I don't think he was ready for that. You were wow. too aggressive? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm putting it down, and Asian men just aren't picking it up. Are they prepared? Because a lot of Asian men will take their own lives. <laughs> Do they? It seems like you can be aggressive with them. If they're willing to take their own life, they could handle anything. I just don't think they... The Asian guys I was hitting up were hitting ready up. for like a woman to come after them. I think they're mm-hmm. used to doing the chasing. They're not used mm-hmm. to someone just coming up to them and be like, hi, I but, want you like, let's go out. But right. the white boys no. are down, huh? Yes. White boys are super forward. And then <laughs> I get shy. Yep. You get shy when they're really hands on. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's how it goes, man. No dark meat. <laughs> no, no dark they're meat. not here. Where are they, Chappelle? There's a lot in LA, Kat. There's a lot, but... Yeah. Well, point in my way. I just haven't met the right one. But you mm-hmm. like all mm-hmm. all flavors. Yeah. yeah. Is there anyone you, you're like, mm, that's just not my thing. What about a big Mexican dude? <laughs> oh, I love Mexicans. Yeah. I oh, yeah? I love Mexicans. A lot of people in my dreams are Mexican, if I have dreams. Oh, why is that? <laughs> At night. I don't know. I don't know all that. I should probably talk to somebody about that. Yeah. Huh? I'm talking to five of my friends, so... <laughs> I mean, talk to a professional. <laughs> huh? Talk to a professional. I'm not talking to a freaking professional. Really? Did yeah. you quit talking to your therapist? Huh? Did you quit no. talking to her? <laughs> well, run this idea by her. There has to be some reason for it. What? There's people in my dreams that are Mexican, man. There's a lot of Mexican people out there. That's fair. <laughs> but, so I'm you love Mexicans. What else? I love Mexicans, but <laughs> Mexicans never loved me growing up. Yep. Yep. Same here. I'm just Maybe looking for a caballero. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. The capoeira? Yeah. No, caballero. 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 Caballeros. Mm-hmm. Come on, cabrones. Horseback riders. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, well, good luck, Cat. Thanks. You have to put these Be on, safe dude. Out there. Let's end this thing, huh? <laughs> 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 Maybe you were a Mexican in your past life. Theater. Horses oh, yeah. in the front, horses in the back, horses in the back, caballeros <laughs> in the front, cabron, caballeros. I'm in like cabron. Wait, where's Quavo's? Oh, we can't do the song. <laughs> I, I was gonna say we should play Quavo's uh, graduation song. <laughs> oh, we really should. <laughs> we'll so get cool. demonetized. <laughs> no, it. never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> Hey, Brandon, you ain't giving me, giving me no nickname, you little liar. Huh? You want a nickname? <laughs> oh actually, God, I don't want dangerous. a nickname. <laughs> I don't want a nickname for you, actually. I'm good. I'll pass. I usually give everybody nicknames. Yeah, I don't want it. Hmm. Let me think on it. <laughs> no. You got I, it. I man. can't see shit, bro. You can't? No. <laughs> I can't see them haters, boy. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying, duh? Yeah, I can't see shit. <sighs> I'm supposed to go get a haircut today. Really? What are you going to do? Get it cut. Can you guys see me roll my <laughs> eyes through these? <laughs> You're just going to get a little trim down the back? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to get different. I'm going to get all parts of it cut, I think. Mm. You going to hit the links after? Or are you just wearing that shirt for the fuck of it? I told you if you go to business thing. Oh, okay. Okay? Mm-hmm. 
Not everybody does business with their son on trails all the time. <laughs> Some of us have real business to do. That's mm. fair. But. Well, I think this is it. I think this is it, dog. Oh. You guys. He's trying to pound He's you. He's trying to pound you. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a pound, there you go. Gang. Brennan and Theo, fighter and weight. I gotta go in and go hard in the paint. I do not think I am in flow. Black rifle coffee, I'm ready to go. I need a sponsor, I am a monster. About to open up with this at my concerts. Flow is contagious, brows are outrageous. Thicker than girls that are Instagram famous. Damn, hungry like I'm fresh off keto. Seeing red like Andrew Santino. Every song I hit like the great Bambino. Brennan ate the queso and the queso Ritos. But everything's gonna be fine. Ay, hate on me, I do not mind. Ay, Theo looking like the type but do they got a pack of matches in his pockets at all times yeah. They sliding into my DMs yeah. A couple of you try but couldn't beat them no. Quit playing like Nintendo DS You don't want the smoke like Joey Diaz uh, Meaning y'all edible Just got my eyebrows threaded and I'm feeling incredible yeah. Brennan's son hit me up He said it's too loud in the club Can you pick me up? King and the Sting King and the Sting Oh yeah On a string oh, yeah.